subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell icon for the latest film interviews, features and recommendations on the movies that matter. Megha, Abhay, um, thank you for joining me. Welcome. Um, your new film is out, your, your film is out uh, this weekend on Netflix. This is what are the odds? This is the film that Megha you've directed. Uh, Abhay, you're uh, one of the one of one of the principal characters, one one of the principal leads in the film. Um, you know, Megha, this is a film. I'm, I'm correct me if I'm wrong. I'm going to try to sort of sum it up. This is a this is a film about two oddballs, um, these two students who sort of meet um, one day, and I'm not going to get into how they meet because because that's that's interesting. Um, and and it's the course of what happens during the uh, over the course of the day. What happens? Abhay plays a musician named Val who sort of represents the real world and and perhaps what is wrong with the real world um, yes. i'm i don't want to say i don't want to use the word villain um because because all, all, he he may come across at times as the villain in 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 some of their lives uh, but he's an interesting character and he he's a musician and 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 sort of he's the real world uh, in this sort of whimsical world that they're that they're completely um thrown into if you like so I want to start, uh, Megha, by asking you, your film, of course, premiered last year at the uh, at IFLA, at the Indian Film Festival of Los Angeles. I want to ask you, what drew you to this subject? I mean, wh why was this a story you wanted to tell? And perhaps, Abhay, you can then tell us what made you go, I want to do this. So sure. first of all, I, I, I've always, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a big fan of the mumblecore genre, and I'm, I'm really a big fan of also, like, beautiful compositions and... Uh, and I really like was missing the, the lack of uh, younger voices, especially when it came to women. And I'm, you know, as as uh, as a younger person, I was a very clunky uh, child, and I I still continue to be so, you know. And this this quality of grace that is uh, put into, uh, you know, that's tagged into women in general, it's not necessary. Like women can be, you know, young girls can be uh, relatable. They can be quirky. They can be you know, they can have a sense of humor, they can have a sense of feistiness about themselves. And I really wanted to kind of be realistic about this character. But at the same time, I think it was very important for me to kind of have this imaginative scape around it. And uh, I think uh, that's what drew me to this character like this. And I'm always drawn to nonsense and strange wonder, you know, I, I, I love, I love the idea of celebrating nonsense. And I think we don't do that too much. Uh, right. And uh, 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 and lensing that through uh, you know a, a woman's point of view is 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 actually very exciting because I get to work with someone like Yashaswini who's such a wonderful actor and at the same time I have this great ensemble cast who's just willing to drop by the film to you know kind of support me uh, 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 provide a platform for this uh, wonderful uh, young uh, character so that's that's what drew me to the film and of course you know, it's it's not just the, the the script that draws me to a film. It's also the the, the uh, you know the the possibility of great design, of of like metering, of composition, uh, of good palettes, of good costumes. I think, uh, yeah. It, it, and you know, when you call it a whimsical film, I would like to just kind of embrace that word because right. it's such a beautiful word. And you know, you have to commit to whimsy to kind of. Uh, and I think uh, that's that's the kind of commitment. Uh, I, I made while you know putting this film together. Sure, sure. Yeah. Abhay? Yeah, well, I mean, um, my main role in this started being as a producer, not as an actor on this film. And that was, that was what drew me to make this movie. Awesome. Uh, why did I do it? Um, well, I mean, I've always kind of, as you know, looked for out of the formula, you know, kind of plots and stories. And most often they come with directors who've written their own stuff and who haven't had a break yet. Usually they're at the start of their career, either one or two films old or just brand new. And, and it was just a space I found myself in out of my own choices. And this came along and uh, I loved the story. It was, um, it was very relatable. Uh, it's, it speaks to the generation that's grown up in the internet age. It's quirky, you know, and yeah. I don't see quirky very much in, in our industry. Um, also, it's a bit of an abused word, right? Quirky gets gets. I know, a like lot. I, I, you know, I, 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 kind of feel that too. But I think for a change, it is being used correctly yeah. because you, it is unavoidably quirky, and and right. it's something that I've been called all my life. You know, quirky, a little off the ground, and it's fine. Yes, of course, I am all that. Like you know, my past, uh, 
you know the producers right. know my past work and this is this is the, the the genre i absolutely enjoy you know just to be uh, to commit to something so uh, so fantastical in a way and to the possibilities of uh, composing that and putting it on a uh, uh, film is 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 another uh, a thing altogether so it's something i am very fond of right abe did you see him as um you know how did you view him did you see because he can be like i said earlier he could be viewed as um, as the reality check in the world of uh, of these two people who of these two young people who are who are you know who, who seem to match on a wavelength that is uh, there is a different wavelength from the rest of the world um mm-hmm. so he could be seen as someone who's the bad guy in a sense um did yeah. you ever did you ever look at him like that I don't think there's any good or bad as such one of the things that Megha was pretty clear on she wasn't defining things as black and white there are always right. shades of gray and that's another reason why it works because it's got those layers in there as you said he is sort of the grounding influence between these two kids he is the guy who gives the reality check um and uh, well he's much older than them the kids he's yeah. an adult and so uh he's actually a nice guy he's not a bad guy and um as we know when you're young it's hard for you to sometimes see uh the well the nuance behind things which he does and he doesn't expect her to uh, right. or the boy to see those things but he's just trying to be there as a as a reality check for the two um without even trying so he's not like he's bad or good or anything like that and i think um if i don't i didn't actually view him as bad you could say mm-hmm. that he's somebody who perhaps would do the right thing whether it is to I mean he um, does do the, the right truth. thing and he does it with yeah. so much of grace at the end and I think yeah. that's the the I think that's the the grace of all all the characters in the odds that there's just such a uh, a feeling of affection that there are no villains in this world you know abhay you you've sort of stood for um for this not this kind of film but you know for the for the off mainstream film i mean that's that's yeah. defined your career um yeah. is that does is there a is that a double edged sword as well well it just depends uh on how you conduct yourself it can be anything you want it to be it is more difficult anything that is going against the mainstream is going to be a path that will be difficult yeah. so you just have to kind of uh, accept that if you accept that then you're probably able to use it to your advantage but if you if you you project that as an idealism as an ideal situation then there can be conflict mm. so in my case i wasn't i'm not the most smooth person or suave in any way to uh to be diplomatic uh, i've learned to be over the years but you you also training me to be diplomatic over the years <laughs> professor higgins <laughs> but um in the end of the day uh would i change things going back in time no you know it is it has defined me today and it has shown me things that i would not have seen had i been a diplomat i guess something that would not have come naturally to me back then so i think it's just important to be who you are and inherently individuality originality are, are really difficult things to hold on to in the art space anywhere in the world it becomes that much more difficult in a country like india where uh tradition and community uh trump over individuality and you know creativity like rebellion is a bad word in this country whereas it's romanticized in the west you know right. yeah was this the, to both of you was this the only way to make this kind of film you know outside of the system is it still hard you know like you said to extend what you said abhay i mean is it is it still hard to um you know that something that's 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 sort of fiercely um independent fiercely original um to do that within the system is that still hard uh mega do you, you know, want to go first honestly huh? the, the way i i it it i think abhay and uh, pooja kohli and apurva bakshi made this so easy in terms of uh, the access i had because you know rajiv i'm also a very experimental uh, independent yeah. filmmaker who's made films hybrid documentaries on uh, acid violence survivors and uh, the, the, you know music stores and and again installations so i i really do not know how to maneuver my way around the system in any case because i'm not aware of it the world i live right. in uh, is is not a very aware world so uh for me to uh, kind of uh, uh, have them as a stepping stone towards introducing me to this world was was actually very uh 
was, you know, it was a very comfortable first experience because uh, I have, I have known people who've had it very, very bad. So right. this has been relative. And, and in fact, even the turnaround time for it, because I thought it'll just be like one of those festival films that goes around, travels, and it's going to take years to come out. And by the time my kids are, but it, it just came out like in, in a matter of uh, 11 months. You know, last year we were at IFLA um, opening the film and uh, closing then we the went film. to, yeah, then we, sorry, closing the film, but like premiering. Then we went right. to Taipei, Shanghai, uh, a couple of other festivals. And then here we are, and uh, here we are on a, on, on a platform that provides, uh, you know, uh, uh, films to... to 160 uh, uh, countries, yeah. 160. Audience, and I'm not used to that. I'm used to like 20, 22,000 views. And I'm like, yeah, man, there are 22,000 people watching my trailer. And suddenly this trailer has gone viral. It's trending on YouTube. And I'm like, what does this even mean? Is it is it a good <laughs> thing? Because in my generation, like, you know, like, I, I'm like, it's trendy, it's not good. And the kids are like, no, 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 this is very good. <laughs> just, just go with it. So, yeah. Well, okay, as someone who's, I, I, and you know, to add, I mean, as someone who's done the straight to streaming film, I mean, you know, you did Chopsticks for Netflix. What, um, you know, how is this in many ways, uh, perhaps rightly suited for, uh, for a film like this? Has what suited for a film like oh, the, platform, know, um, the, right? the, the straight to streaming, the straight to the streaming straight to, yeah. uh, sort of model. Well, first to answer the first part of your earlier question is uh, it wouldn't have, I wouldn't have been able to make this without Film Caravan. And right. so it definitely helps that the, Yay, Film Caravan. the field has opened up with these um, streaming platforms coming in uh, to answer your second question. Uh, you see, when it was just theatrical, uh, you know, Bollywood is essentially cliquish Correct. and it becomes really hard if you don't become part of one of those three, four cliques that, that kind of run the industry, they have all the power to distribute and market and it kind of drowns out anybody who's small. And so yeah. these independent, uh, so these digital platforms have come in to give people like Negha, myself, I mean, I, I've, I've kind of had both in my, in my background, yeah. but I chose to go the alternative route. And, um, when uh, when I started making, you know, Manorama, Oilaki, Devdi and stuff, the people weren't making those films. And uh, I had to be instrumental in getting some of them made. Like Devdi, I had uh, the concept and the treatment, which I gave Anurag. Manorama, I got uh, Shemaru involved in it to fund yeah. and produce it. Imtiaz, I took to my brother to make so, uh, uh, Sochanatha. Okay. So I've had to push it personally. Otherwise, it would not have gotten made. And if it had not been the participation like a film caravan in this case, uh, there were other players in the other films that I did. And, uh, and eventually things slowed down. My, I mean, because I, I came up with those films in 2006, 7, 8. Yeah. And that time there was no infrastructure. There was, I was just considered lucky to have gotten away with them. And then I had to just play ball, which I just couldn't naturally do, bring myself to. And so there was a lull. And now, you know, that lull is being kind of... Now it's better for me because, yeah. because the digital platforms are a much stronger presence. Had they not come, I don't know if individual voices and originality in the way that, you know, artists in India see it would have had any chance whatsoever. Yeah. yeah. You know, I have to ask you about the singing. Um, you, do, you do some of your own singing in this film, don't you? Did you enjoy that? It was just for a scene. <laughs> I sing within a scene. Which I don't consider yeah. as any major hard work, you know. It was. It wasn't like uh, Zindagi Na Milegi Dobara, where Correct. I went to a studio and recorded a song. Recorded. This was on set, <laughs> you know. Um, but yeah, it was. It was. It was all right. I'm not. I don't. I'm not a singer. <laughs> okay. I bet you are a singer. You're. You. You are a singer now. You're Val Mega. <laughs> I am. I am Val as far as Mega is concerned. So I'm right. a rock star. Okay. <laughs> you know. Um. I have to ask you. To both of you, this, uh, you know, the, the experience that we're going through lockdown and COVID and how that's changing the world, does it make you anxious about, um, about your jobs and, and how you're going to continue to be, you know, film professionals going forward? Um, you know, there's, 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 there's a new world and there's new working styles that certainly one is going to have to embrace. Um, are you, have you begun sort of, you know, these discussions? Are you, does it make you anxious about how one continues to work in the new world? Well, I'm sure everybody's anxious right now. And yeah. that's 
I unfortunately the only consolation each one of us can have because I do get anxious. But then I'm like, hold on, it's not just my industry; it's every industry. The only people making money through this time are a handful of billionaires, you know. Right. And uh, and and I think it's it's a uh, this is a comment on on capital neoliberalism and capitalism. It's just not working. Uh, so I try and focus on the fact that the things we put in the background, our environment, capitalism, the divide between the rich and the poor, all of that, we were just kind of looking the other way. Now it's hard to look the other way. Yeah. In fact, my fear is if we find a cure quickly, it'll be all forgotten and we're going to move on until the next calamity hits us. So this, I think, is a reality check. And the only consolation I can give others and is what I give myself, which is, yes, I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, I can keep projecting, but I'll never have the answer. Uh, but then I'm not the only one. And uh, what are the good things that are coming out of this? Because at the end of the day, whether it's my industry or myself and my career, and uh, it's not bigger than the planet. So I think uh, we do have to sacrifice what we have for a larger cause. And this is an opportunity to do that. Sure, sure. Mega? You know, I, I, I think Abhay just answered, Miss World, like, <laughs> I want to give him the prize. He gets the Miss prize for World. the best answer. <laughs> no, no but I'll tell you from, you know, I'll tell you something more personal. Where I'm coming from uh, is that I've never, you know, like I said, we've been making such small films before this that such a big release and such, like there's, there's just been so much of noise and like reactions to the film. Uh, that this and and suddenly people are taking notice of of you know people are reaching out to me for work and the minute this film uh, opened uh, at festivals that's when you know uh, work started for me like I, I started getting permission work and uh, uh, so it's been it's it's been an interesting time where there's enough to also part with to kind of support right. the the communities to kind of help younger writers. I mean, I, I, we run a, a company called Misfit Films, which is full of young writers and, uh, uh, you know, I'm able to support them because uh, you, there's a balance. And I, could, I wasn't able to afford doing that some time ago. So I think uh, there's a certain privilege that comes along with the release. Uh, uh, and uh, I, I think I, I am using that privilege uh, hopefully in, in a correct manner. I would like to believe. Yeah. Sure. Well, more power to both of you. The film is uh, currently streaming on Netflix. What are the odds? It's it's quirky. It's different. Um, it's it's all of those things that we that you know that we use too loosely. But it but it those <laughs> words apply correctly in the case of this film. We um, best of to luck. all these words. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Best of luck, and um, you know, can't wait to see how you how all of us really adapt to the new world. How you continue making um, you know your own fiercely independent um, and and original films going forward. More power to both of you and best of luck. Thanks. Thank Thanks, you, Rajiv. Thanks. Thank you so we much. You. Thank you. I'm so excited I'm on, on the show. Like, Thank you. My mom's going to watch this and she's going to be very happy. She loves <laughs> oh, you. So. Thank you. That's so kind. <laughs>